Welcome to Antequera, a beautiful town just an hour away from Malaga. The streets of this town are beaming with history. Did you know this is the center of Andalusia? Hi, this is Julian and Arslan. We moved to beautiful Spain with one mission, to tell the world how amazing and diverse this country is. So make sure to subscribe and be part of our eye-opening adventure. We are based in Spain's luxury capital, Marbella. And our journey has brought us to a charming town straight out of Disney. We are going to visit a Moorish castle, 6,000 year old tombs, explore a stunning architecture, and then we will visit Torcal National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that will make you feel like you are on another planet. Do you know that Antequera is known as the central point of Andalusia? Antequera is about two hours from Marbella, so we had to leave early to make the most out of our day. Once you reach Malaga, it takes only 45 minutes and it's a smooth drive. Just before Antequera, you will see Lover's Rock with a fascinating tale attached to it. The story goes like this. A royal Muslim girl, Taxona, falls in love with the handsome Christian man, Thalo. A forbidden love. They jumped off this 880 meter high rock, holding hands rather than surrendering to the soldiers. This story inspired a poet, Robert Sodi, to write a poem called Laila Manuel. You can see Lover's Rock from all over Antequera, sometimes peeping through the buildings and others just standing high with pride, carrying their love through the centuries. If you ask me, it looks like a sleeping troll. We parked up at a free car park just off Calle Fresca and made our way to Al Casaba, most popular attraction here. Going through the streets, we were immediately awestruck by the grandeur and charm of the architecture here. How is this place not more popular? Just an hour from the crowded beaches of Malaga, why isn't Antequera promoted more as an easy destination from Malaga? We are at the Alcazaba of Antequera. We've only been here for five minutes, but already we are surprised and shocked with the amazing views. We could have spent here the whole afternoon, but Alcazaba has a lot more to offer. So come with us and explore. We paid eight euros to get in here, and which also includes the entry to the beautiful church opposite. So I think that's a really good value. So this area is actually the mosque. You can see the minaret behind me. I can imagine that back in the days how life would have been Muslims walking around these gardens. It's actually Ramadan now. So at this time, I can imagine they would just be praying in these courtyards and preparing for their evening meals. We are in the bell tower and this is literally one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Look at this, this is like a pendulum of the clock and uh, ooh, I nearly fell. Look at these ropes going down all the way down. I think it's the balancing thing for the clock. So the Muslims built on the Roman side, so the, it was a Roman town before. Then the Muslims came and then the Christian forces took it back. Let's go up and see from the top. Wow! <laughs> Big massive bell. Look at the views around. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> it's not 
on time yet. They've done it deliberately, honestly. They knew I was here, I was recording. They scared the out of me. Anyway, <laughs> look at the <laughs> So behind this hill, we have Caminito del Rey, which is one of the most popular excursions, not just in Andalusia, but all over Spain. People from all over the world come here to enjoy this Caminito. We've come to the end of our cazada and it takes approximately an hour or two depending on how many pictures or videos you're taking. When you get in, you can download the app and there's an audio guide so you can listen to all the hotspots in this area. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the church next door, which we've seen pictures of it and it looks amazing. Before the church, let me tell you about the largest and oldest dolmens or the burial site of Europe built nearly 6,000 years ago and still standing, these tombs were listed by UNESCO in 2016. Imagine how the farmers 6,000 years ago transported these massive stones to build this. The heaviest stone in Stonehenge, UK is 40 tons. Here is 200 tons. How did they do it? Keep in mind that like many places in Costa del Sol, it's closed on Mondays. Well, this is a very good example as to why you really need to see in person before you have an opinion. When we looked at the pictures, it looked amazing. But when we walked in, it's okay if you are into architecture, churches, or if you are a religious person. But my first impression when I walked in was like, have they been robbed? Where is everything? It's okay, but you know, if you're really into those things, you can save yourself a couple of quid. But just around the church, there is so much to see and it's completely free of charge. Like for example here, you see the Roman bath and you see here a very well-preserved mosaic. We heard there's a restaurant inside the bull ring. That would be an interesting place to eat. First, let's explore the town. What I like the most about Antequera is its architecture. Every street you go to, everywhere around the town, they have beautiful terracotta style buildings. I love the color of the buildings here as well. And if you wanted to show somebody what Andalusia architecture is all about, and if you wanted to show them in one place, Antequera would be it. It's not just the center geographically, it just captures all of the Andalusia's architecture into one place. For example, this tower kind of reminds me of Jerez de la Frontera and there are arches and this building, Sevilla. All, everything around it is just beautiful. I'm loving it here. We are walking towards Plaza de Toros and it seems to be like the main street for shopping, like the shopping street. It's just beautiful as well.
Now we're going to make our way back to the restaurant. But unfortunately, it was closed. It's time to make our way to the most exciting part, Torcal National Park. It's half an hour drive from Antequera. On the way, we spotted another beautiful square, perfect to take some pictures. As soon as we got closer to the park, the scenery started to change and we were amazed by how wonderful nature is. The whole area was under the sea some hundred million years ago. Earth's movement pushed it up, and then the rains and winds chiseled these rocks to form the shapes we see today. Once you get here, there is a visitor center to get some information. And the best part is that the whole national park is free. There are three routes at Torcal National Park. Green route is the easiest and takes about 45 minutes. Yellow route takes about two and a half hours. And the orange route starts from the bottom and takes about four hours to complete. We obviously took the green route. Wow, I'm actually speechless. I knew it would be beautiful, but nothing prepared me to for this amazing, stunning beauty around here. Everything around here, it looks like I'm from another planet, a bit like Avatar. Look at all this formation of the rocks, the layers upon layers upon layers. It looks like I'm in somewhere in Grand Canyon or something like that, like really far away. If I knew something like this existed anywhere in Spain, forget Malaga, anywhere in Spain, I would have gone out of my way to get here. But turns out it's on Costa del Sol. So don't wait for anything, make a plan and come here, especially if you like bike. This is the perfect road to go around with stunning scenery. Every corner will blow your mind. We finished the trail just before sunset and after that we have come to this beautiful Mirador. From here you can see the views everywhere around me stretching all the way down to Malaga. Oh my god, Antequera has really exceeded our expectations. It's a lot better than we could ever imagine. We'll definitely be back with our friends and family to show them. We hope you enjoyed our experience in Antequera. Stay tuned because next week we will be coming back from another exciting point in Andalucía. Hasta luego!